What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com and I'm back at you with another exercise training split video going through. Today is, what is today? Day six of this split um, because remember we're doing an off day on the days prior to legs. So I'm not gonna make a designated video for an off day. So this is day six, I'm not really sure what number, I think day five of the video series. Um, but today we're going to be doing heavy back hypertrophy biceps. So day six, heavy back and hypertrophy biceps. And if you'll notice, I'm all swagged out today and I'm wearing pink. Real men wear pink. Um, so. Heavy back hypertrophy biceps. I like doing deadlifts on heavy back day. I'm a huge fan of deadlifts. I think deadlifts are probably the single, I don't know, it's neck and neck between squats and deadlifts as to which is my preferred exercise if I could only pick one. But recall we did squat day a few days prior. So at this point in the state, at this stage, at this point in the process, my lower back is pretty well recovered and I can go into a heavy back day. So I don't start out with deadlifts though. I start out with just some pull downs. So I'll do just some usually wide grip pull downs and I'm doing that to kind of get my, my shoulders mobilized, just get the blood flowing, get everything warmed up. And I typically do, depending on how loose or stiff I'm feeling, about four to five sets of pull downs. Um, and similar to, if you recall on the tricep, heavy tricep day, um, or the, the tricep training, I would start, this was one of the few examples where I would start with a lighter weight and a higher rep and then gradually progress to a lower uh, rep scheme and a higher weight. So with the pull downs, I might start with like 15 reps or so and then start at like you know, 80 or 100 pounds and then progressively get heavier and heavier as I drop my rep count. So four or five sets of that and like 15, 12, 10, eight or so on the rep scheme. After the pull downs, I do a dumbbell row. That is a nasty looking B. Dumbbell row. You can do a barbell row, but for dumbbell row, I feel like you just get much more range of motion. Plus you can kind of isolate it and just really focus on the contraction of a singular side. So rather than trying to do a barbell and go across your body, you're able to just really get that full range of motion with the dumbbell. So I like doing that almost as a warm up exercise, but I start to go pretty heavy on the dumbbell rows because the next lift uh, is the, the heavy uh, deadlift. So the dumbbell rows I typically do about four sets of and about eight reps on all of those dumbbell rows. Then we go into deadlift. The big old famous deadlift. And I do a fairly narrow foot placement on deadlift. I wear a belt. Um, I make my first rep look the same as my last rep. I reset in between each uh, rep. I feel like that is key. I used to be one of those stereotypical, uh, you know, lunks, I guess, Planet Fitness calls them, where you bounce the weight. But you, when you do that, you put a lot of strain on the back. When that weight goes back down, it jars your back. Uh, so I don't do that anymore. I reset in between each rep. I focus on maximizing the quality of my form. And I go progressively heavier. I'll start with like 135, then I'll do 225, then 315, then 405 and then I'll start pyramiding up more gradually once I get four plates on there. That's gonna be different for everybody, but that's what I personally do. And I always wear a belt. Uh, so after deadlift, whatever winds up being your max, your perceived rate of exertion, you kind of scale things up accordingly. But I typically do about six reps on deadlift. This being one of the heavier movements, heavier compound lifts, I do a slightly lower rep count. So rather than doing like eight or 10 reps, I'm doing like six reps. And I'm usually doing about, I don't know, let's see, I did uh, five sets last go round, and that's about six reps. Um, all right, now after deadlift, I transition into a very similar exercise, which is rack pulls. Uh, we have a hypertrophy back day in which we're doing a lot more of like cable, cable rows, cable pull downs, but on the heavy back day, I do a lot more compound heavy movement. So rack pulls right after deadlift is pretty taxing because deadlift is basically a full range of motion version of a rack pull. Uh, so with the rack pull, I'm basically just having the bar sit just beneath my knees 
and I'm focusing on loading that bar heavy. I try and mirror the same weight that I did for the deadlift. So whatever I got on my uh, reps and, and sets with the weight scheme on deadlifts, I basically mirror the same thing for my rack pulls. So basically another five sets of six reps of that. Uh, so after the rack pulls, that's when we call it quits on the heavy back day and we transition to a hypertrophy bicep. But since we only have so many days in the split, biceps and triceps are only getting one day, whereas every other muscle group is getting two days. So I don't have a standalone heavy bicep day and hypertrophy bicep day. Most of the hypertrophy or most of the exercises for the biceps are hypertrophy based, but I tend to throw in like one heavy set of, or one heavy exercise group. Uh, so I start with a cable curl and I'm just doing sets of 15 reps on these. Cable curl, usually about four sets and I'm doing 15 reps. And then after cable curl, I do a incline dumbbell curl. And again, I'm doing 15 reps on this. On the dumbbell, actually on all these, I gradually increase the weights. I don't have just a, a weight that I'm sticking with the entirety of the, the exercise. I'm gradually moving that up with each set that passes. So cable curls, 15 reps, gradually getting heavier with each set, incline dumbbell curls uh, on, a, on an incline bench, basically to remove any momentum, gradually getting heavy with each set there. And then, am I about to run off the board here? We're good? All right, so we've got hammer curls. And hammer curl is the muscle or the exercise that I incorporate um, a little bit more weight to. I'm doing sets of eight reps on hammer curl. And with those eight reps, I'm gradually getting heavier with each set. I'll start with like 55 or 60 pounds, do eight reps, then scale it up to 60 pounds. And then I'll progress up to about 70, 75 pounds there with the dumbbell curl. And I'm going heavier Quit laughing, Carrie, you're messing me up. <laughs> and I'll go heavier, and basically I'll let a little momentum come into play with this particular exercise because this is the one heavy portion of this uh, hypertrophy bicep day. And like I said, we only get in one day for biceps, so I like to make hammer curls the heavier movement during the day. Um, and then the last and final exercise is like a cable um, concentration curl or just some type of really isolated movements. What I've been doing lately, concentrated curl. You'll probably can't read any of this. It's probably what Kara's laughing at me. Um, but 15 reps of those. And what I've been doing is putting a bench on an incline, facing the bench, and putting either the rope attachment or the easy bar attachment on the cable, the low bar pulley cable. And then I'll be coming, coming up with that. And since I'm against the bench, there's no momentum coming into play. So it's like a really good isolated bicep specific movement. And that pretty much concludes my heavy hypertrophy, uh, heavy back hypertrophy bicep day. And we have one day left. See you tomorrow for that.